What we are looking at is a corrupt political system. And that means whether it is the drug companies or the insurance companies or the fossil fuel industry determining what's happening in Washington, we have got to recognize that this country is moving into an oligarchic form of society where a handful of billionaires control the economic and political life of this country. And as president, I am prepared to take them on. Our trade policy in America has been broken for decades. And it has been broken because it works for giant multinational corporations and not for much of anyone else. These are giant corporations that, shoot, if they can save a nickel by moving a job to a foreign country, they'll do it in a heartbeat. And yet, for decades now, who's been whispering in the ears of our trade negotiators, who has shaped our trade policy? It's been the giant corporations. It's been their lobbyists and their executives. The way we change our trade policy in America is first, the procedures, who sits at the table. Why are we losing to the fossil fuel companies? Yeah. Why are we losing to the gun lobby and the NRA? And the answer is this, we all know, everyone on the stage knows, that our government has been overrun by money and corporate interests. Now, everyone here has a plan to try and curb those corporate interests, but we have to face facts. Money finds a way. Money will find its way back in. So what is the answer? The answer is to wash the money out with people-powered money. My proposal is that we give every American 100 democracy dollars that you can only give to candidates and causes that you like. This would wash out the lobbyist cash by a factor of eight to one. That is the only way we will win. And as someone running for president, I'll tell you, there's a people on one side and the money on the other. The only way for us to win is if we bring them together. Thank you, Mr. Yang. You got a handful of billionaires controlling what goes on in Wall Street, the insurance companies, and in the media.